According to the Federal Communications Commission, about 19 million people in America still don't have broadband internet access. And in here in Mississippi, we rank 42nd in states with access to broadband internet. There are nearly 260,000 Mississippians who have no internet service provider where they live. And so uh, one company, though, has just been awarded more than $41 million to bring broadband access to rural Mississippians. Joining us right now is Lisa Wigington of Tech. Lisa is going to talk about how her company plans to help people who are not connected right now get connected. Lisa, thank you for joining us today. I'm sorry, Lisa. I, we may be uh, having a little hard. <laughs> we may be having a hard time. Boy, this is irony, huh? We may be having a hard time being connected here with Lisa. Lisa, let me just ask you this: If you can hear me, how many people are we talking about that don't have access to the internet here in Mississippi? Well, with the with this project, uh, well, we're. Tech is going to, we had gotten $42 million of funding we received in the auction and coupled with a $60 million invest, investment from TEC, we'll be able to build fiber to approximately 23,000 homes and businesses and serve gigabit internet service and provide access to digital learning, telemedicine, precision farming and e-commerce and decrease the digital divide in Mississippi. Is, this is a statewide project, is that right? It's going from the coast all the way up to Tennessee? Well, this project is going to reach, uh, expands the tech network um, to the underserved portions of Capaya, Covington, Jasper, Lawrence, Lincoln, Newton, Rankin, Scott, Simpson, and Smith counties in central, central South Mississippi. So it's primarily right here in the middle part of the state, right? But even, I have wondered about that. You know, we've had so many schools that are doing, uh, you know, the virtual learning, and so many of these rural areas have not had fiber. I was wondering how that would work. That's not a question. That's kind of a statement. The question is, when will y'all get started on this? So uh, the FCC auction rules say that we have six years to build it. But we are planning a more aggressive schedule, and we'd like to do it in less than five years.